Greetings, my fellow sea ice cannibals. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Biotech, the first one to go. Episode 104, Organic Chem Fuel. So here is the bandwidth pack, and uh, I'm gonna forbid that for now. Question to you all is what should I do with the remaining signal chip? Gestation for Brizet or control groups for low. So gestation is to be able to replace destroyed mechs or um, gestate new ones, and that increases the speed at which they go through the process for Brizet, for the combat bots, or control groups to allow the uh, worker bots to work faster for low. I can only do one of two things. And that'll be up to you. All right, Wendy, I'm going to send you out real quick. It's going to be a very quick trip because you're basically a, a, a living god. And Wendy's just going to go fetch it. Oh, what a lovely looking map tile. I mean, I uh, obviously picked sea ice or ice sheet for the challenge, but gotta say this uh, this map tile looks luxurious. Oh, for real, Chimic? I mean, Fangface, I hate you. Failing a nuclear stomach is so annoying because it is so expensive to, to make a new one. <sighs> All right, Wendy will have to do that surgery herself or low. Low could do it. With more mechs, we might need more waste packs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Vendetta's uh, illness decreased, which is good. But low, you're kind of not feeding the baby. So get on that. There we go. Found the pod. That was easy. Your name is Zebo. Got the mech link. <laughs> you know what? Let's get some fabric while we're here. There's not much threat. It's coming in a bunch of days. I can turn this cloth into something fun. Alright, and it looks like we're going to do gestation for Bryzit. Got it. So Bryzit, you're going to get gestation processor. Alright, fuel node will explode soon. Where's the mad snow hair? Other map tile? Okay. That fuel node is in a different room, and the doors are uh, made of stone, so I'm not actually too worried about that fuel node. See how much I can carry. Don't care about conversions. Oh yeah, I can carry more than this. Time slowed down, so someone's getting haired. Oh, it's low. Come on, you can win this. This purse is a bunny rabbit. You better win it. Be the laughing stock of the colony. Here lies low. Death by Bunny Rabbit. You sure are terrible, Dislo. Gotta say. Alright, it's down.
I was hoping to have Chimic surgery done by the time he got up from uh, from his coma, but that's not going to be the case. So we have prisoner xenogerm ready. Uh, the eggs are not hauled yet, surprisingly. And this corpse has not been butchered. We're going to need to put that corpse outside before it starts rotting, because it will kill our prisoners if we leave it there. So, let's see. Midi, go haul Dole. And we'll get Wendy home here in a second. I don't want to sleep here. Seems awful. She keeps going to sleep. Oh, uh, wait, no. So Kath is back up, our uh, vamp slave. And for the record, uh, Wendy made a vampire slave so that she could start scanning the genome of the vampire. Um, but it's going to take, you know, two two years for that uh, genome to, to regrow. So it's a long process. I see there's more cloth here, but Wendy's full up now, so let's get back home. Hi, Brazit. So here's the mech link, and oops, didn't mean to drop the medicine. Mech link, and she also brought home 611 cloth. Not bad. So, Lo, congratulations. You're a mechanator now. Don't you go dying on me. Uh, so, first order business, you are going to get a bandwidth pack. Uh, you can keep your constructor mech. That's fine. Because Bryzit will keep Orange Cast because we treat Orange Cast more like a, more like a combat mech. So... What I'm going to do right now, just to make it a little bit easier, is put all of the worker mechs in one tight little space uh, so that I can take control of them more easily. And then I'll, I'll have to put their zones back, but that's fine. Uh, which means that uh, this constructoid is going to be named Rager. So, Lo, I'm going to move you to up here. You're definitely going to require armor if you're a uh, if you're a worker bot controller, just because I don't want you dying. And let's have you slowly take control over the work mix. Oh Jesus, that's not really a good place for the baby. So can take control of Fang Face first. <laughs> All right, Fang Face, you're dismissed. You can go back to what you were doing. I didn't realize you were holding a baby. And then all this will free up all but uh, three bandwidth off of Bryzit, allowing Bryzit to start to just eight combat mix. Still working on that nuclear stomach for Chimic. Surprise so should be down to just three bandwidth once the exchange is done. And I'm going to dormant self charge them until the exchange is done. Oh, right, except for I shouldn't dormant self-charge Fang Face, because then that has... Yeah, okay. There's a bit of a problem with that. Uh, let's go rescue Vendetta from the snow. Nothing like a malnourished, sick infant laying in the snow. All right, 
Bryzit has seven. So we still have a lifter and a tunnel or a lifter and three aggro hands to take control of. I didn't zone all of the mechs clearly. The slow wane is No, slow wane's in the right zone. Who's not uh Rexy? Actually, I don't know what lifter is not uh Rexy is not in the right one. Get back here, Parduke. There is the nuclear stomach that we wanted. Now, Bryzit should be down, yep, to three bandwidth. Perfect. Low is going to be at 13 out of 15. Uh, so space for two more. And then I'm going to sign all of Low's mechs to group two, which is the work group. And then put them back on their proper zones. So behind walls, unrestricted, unrestricted, behind walls, hauling, and behind walls. Very good. Carry on. Nice. Uh, Bryzit, your implant got done. It is... here. And then Wendy, you're going to do the surgery for... or actually, Lo will do it for Chimic. Because I no longer trust uh, Fangface, because Fangface ruined a nuclear stomach. I'm glad it doesn't go nuclear uh, when you do that, but, you know, let's not do that twice. Okay, uh, cool. So that quest is done really fast, because Wendy just used Farskip and cleaned that place out instantly. Uh, so next priority is going to be up to you. There it is. Five minutes. So if you want me to make mechs, that would be a take on a major project. So if you want me to start gestating combat mechs with Bryzit, um, I think we really should have, if I, if I continue to do that, we really should have like a dedicated facility for mech gestation. Uh, so that would be number five, if, if that's something you want me to do. But it depends on the kind of mechs that you want me to have, because if you want me to have, like, uh, War Queens and Diabolises, I'm going to need to do boss farming. So it, it kind of depends. But uh, that's up to you. All right. Chimic's surgery went well. Good. Oh, we have another corpse, like, in the middle of the base. Could you stop doing that? And it looks like all of the eggs got hauled. 17, I think, is the correct number. Oh, right. Vendetta. Oh, interesting. Wait, Vendetta. Vendetta was a baby that never got the baby Xenogerm. Okay. Well, once the illness goes away, uh, Vendetta is going back in the in the pod. So it's kind of moot. So the current priority right now is. Um, egg processing, and then it will be whatever you guys vote on. Uh, I think a very underrepresented genes in the current community are pigskin genes, and I would love to get more pigskins um, into the genome. As you can see, we uh, we don't have many with the strong stomach or robust digestion, only low, I think. Let me double check if that's true. Yeah, I believe it's only low. So this run of uh, hybrids, I'm going to have low do most of the fertilization uh, to see if we can't get some more pigskin representation. I've been previously focusing a lot on dirt moles, and we do have a lot of dirt mole hybrids now um, coming out of the pipeline. 
you know, ones that have dark vision and fast wound healing like Chimic and Guero are dirt mole and dirt mole hybrids. But, uh, but yeah, uh, so doing a lot of, of, uh, a lot with low to try to, you know, to get more of the pigskin representation. Remember to patch things up with the Empire? Yeah, I'm still waiting on more of the corsets. Because of the uh, nuclear stomach failures, um, it's going to take me a little bit longer. That was dumb. Alright, Vendetta is exhausted. No, oh, you're kind of responsible for, uh... What bed did you put? Isn't this warm enough? Yeah, it's plenty. Why are you... You don't even know... Oh, this is dumb. Oh. Oh, oh, good. Cheerio. Uh, so we have a whole bunch of uh, insects coming up there. That's a really interesting spot. I'm wondering if they uh, mess with Daka Boy. Has Mass's brain healed? No. Literally not any part of that injury has healed up yet. The good news about all these bugs is uh, I really needed... I really needed um, meat. Uh, insect meat. So... Let me go red right now. And get all of my mechs down to this choke point. It's not an ideal choke point. Is there a better one? Yeah, this is a better choke point. Uh, so, let's do that. I could burn them because they're all sequestered, but I'd rather uh, make the most amount of meat out of them as possible. But I have to do it really quickly because the opportunity to... They're going to break out of here pretty quickly. So... Um, oh, low is... Okay. Low, you're exempt from this fight. But everybody else should rally. Take on a major project. Uh, I'll type up the major project in a second. I've got my hands full. Hmm. Don't dig there. Marauder, you are not going to be useful in this fight. Go away. You're going to cause more harm than good. And I'm going to leave these doors open so that we just move a little bit faster. Wendy, mine here. And get ready to fight some bugs. Keep moving, guys. So you can kind of see the, the battle formations that were taken up here. Where we have a very tight bottleneck of one tile wide funneling all the bugs to us. Smexy, thank you for the sub. Don't break the slate. There we go. It's on! And then all the brawlers are in back to replace any downed scythers. Uh, Wendy, you can also berserk some of the back. Just to soften them up further. 
give him something fun to fight. Some are getting out. How? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure how they just blew past me there. It, uh, yeah, I, I, I really don't know. Um, normally bottlenecks work, but whatever. I'm not going to bother figuring out. I'm just going to bunker up my, uh, my haulers. I did bring uh, my brawlers out for a reason. So uh, let's stem the tide of them. I'm gonna have Wendy back up a little bit and I can have Dai start releasing war origins. So if it's a battle of numbers, we'll at least have numbers. Rager, like you're not, oh yeah, yeah, okay. This is my fault. Uh, Rager and Kish, you should go indoors. So I'll try to plug the hole back up with, uh, with my brawlers. Which seems to be working out kind of well. I need to get Wendy in a position where she can, um, cast again. Throwing berserks back there kind of causes additional chaos, which is useful. Violet! Hello, Violet. You, eager little robot, go to the bunker. More versions. And I don't think really any of the, the wounds that my brawlers have taken are um, serious at all. Actually, Violet is like front and center and just like slaying. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Perfectly capable battle bot. Oh, you know what? Maybe they broke out of the slate on the left side. I don't think that's actually what how, how they got loose, but that's a contributing factor at this point. Uh, Daka boy, that's not great that you let bugs into the base. Hmm. I left those doors open for us to get through, but then they prop this door open, uh, which is, you know, an undesirable result. So I'm hoping that this door closes when they move past. Not too many bugs left. I don't know how many total, but I, I guess I'll count the bodies. Oh, we're gonna get stuck here. All right, just fight. Frosty and Jack, go up there and help out. Mitty, I think you're bleeding faster than the other two, so Wendy is gonna uh, tend to you with actual meds. Dakaboy went down, but that's okay, we'll replace. Uh, all of my mechs can go back to recharge. Because I don't need them anymore. I'll go to the numbers enemy tab. So yeah, there's a few up, but not many. So Wendy and Bryzit and Chimic will go hunt the remainder that are not... Uh, Subdued. And I'll start repairing some of the bots that are downed. And then, of course, there's the smushing of the, uh, the hives themselves. Uh, which is probably best suited for a brawler to do. Somebody you just got patched up? Let's have you go do it. Uh, this is a really good royal gift for my unfortunately accidentally made a enemies, the royals. So, you know, th this, all this insect jelly uh, serves a bit of a purpose.
And then the insect meat will be turned into chem fuel, which is really good because we are lacking uh, locust armor. And that was the the limiting factor of uh, the, our locust armor amount. So, all good things. Uh, what is fighting left? Number shows that there's two mega scarabs here that are hostile. Cool. Let's kill them. One, and where's the second one? Uh, chasing Kath. Kath, you're a vampire. Come on. Sh show your true colors. Lonnie Lemur, thank you for the resub. Lo, uh, instead of laying around doing nothing, I'm sure A, there's a baby to tend to, and then B, now there's worker max to regestate. I like how the little urchins are helping to clear the uh, the hives. It's kind of funny. So these are deteriorating due to it being quote unquote outside. So I'm gonna uh, have Wendy work down here to wall this off quickly. Yeah, there's two lemurs here. Isn't it weird? Uh, so that I can patch this up and have it be all for sale. What do you know? Repair. Just carry him to. No, don't carry him to crypto sleep. Repair. There we go. Yeah, uh, Mitty's losing his mind. So you're off duty. I'll leave these doors open. Um, a bit of a raid vulnerability, but uh, but just to get things moving. Get Rager out of the way too. Because we want this door closed. Yeah, this is a whole lot of Empire rep. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Alright, Rager is now mobile. So, Wendy, you are coming down here to work on the slate wall. So, yeah, I mean it was a it was a big infestation, but like not really a problem for my specific uh, colony makeup. We're pretty well designed to take on hordes of stuff. Those war urchins automatically clearing out the the uh, the hives is kind of nice too. Uh, so Chimic, you're in a chipper mood. Let's get you down here. And then low, you are going to regestate small things. Because we did lose some little worker bots. So low, you will need to be assigned to smithing. I might want to uh, reassess Lowe's Xenogerm uh, in order to give Low the great crafting skill now that Lowe's a, a mechanator. Might be required. Actually, I'm just gonna flat out say it is required. So Wendy, you got these walls are going. So now that these walls are built, uh, the, the insect jelly in here is uh, indoors and won't decay. And then it's very easy to haul it up to, uh, to, to gift it. Dude, I think you're hurting the wall more than the hives. Vendetta, how is your health? You're a little malnourished. Well, that's to be expected in a colony like ours. Insect hives are cleared. Cool. Done and done. There's a lot of uh, bugs that are wounded and not killed. So we'll have to hunt them out. And Kadath got a broke moment. Oh, body pierce, that's gonna be a real problem for me. 
Body purism uh, doesn't really work for Wendy. But I'll just offset your complaints with uh, happiness or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to vote on that. All right, clean up the infestation. And then I'll type up some large projects for me to do. So here is some basic choices. Just eight mechs for Bryzit. Build a barracks, build a recreation room, build cold meat storage so that I can butcher more of the human likes or uh, viewer suggestions, it's up to you. Have you guys vote. I'll be fertilizing the eggs once I clean this up. Um, yep, that will get done too. All right, Mex, you are back. Lost two hauler Mex. Got it. One's already being regestated. Pair noises. Oh, the wind turbine took damage. Okay. Just updating the home zones to now include the new, mo newly moved walls. And uh, that all looks good. The whole map is a freezer? Yes, the whole map is a freezer, but I don't actually have anywhere to put the meat. I don't have like shelves in a freezer or something like that. So that's what I'm, uh, that's what that priority is for. To basically treat all corpses to be butchered and then to have somewhere to put the leather and the meat, which is not something that we currently have. Uh, if we're going to readdress Lowe's, uh, Lowe's genome, uh, I guess before I put Lowe into a coma uh, for a, uh, you know, the xenogerm coma, I'm going to have Lowe do the fertilization. So once Lowe's up, I'll do the fertilization run and then and then... Take a look at the genome to see if we can't put in great crafting back in so that repairing robots is something that Lowe can actually do reasonably well. And then maybe prioritize, um, oh, you already have manipulation from the elongated finger, so never mind. I take that back. But keeping uh, manipulation speed in there as well. So that's pretty important as a mechanator. It is going to be nice to have all those corpses. So, I think another thing that's going to be really important is for us to gift Jelly. So, I'm going to get a Jelly gift going. I'll add it all, and then I, uh, I'll see the numbers and subtract if I think it needs subtracting from Low is up. Fang face, you are queued to do that Xenogerm surgery. I guess I'll allow it. Update the holler zone? 
Um, yeah, uh, I actually want the haulers to continue hauling this steel. Because my people will just haul the jellies. Adaraxian Warfare, thank you for the sub. You're welcome. Oh, Inalor's visiting. Cool. So Vendetta, um, assuming that Vendetta is going to survive, I'm kind of assuming, is getting the baby Xenogerm um, to be able to learn better, more efficiently when back in the pod. Low went right back to sleep. Okay, I'm just waking Low up. It's enough out of that nonsense. It is one point ahead for Build a Barracks. Okay. Clean up the infestation in the Build a Barracks. Locust armor just got made, and I'm going to give that Locust armor to Low. Now that Low is a Mechanator, it's really important to keep the uh, the Mechanators alive, so preferential treatment to the mix. Low now needs a helmet. Chimic needs a full set of armor. 88 Jack. Midi needs a new helmet. Chimic needs proper armor. There's a lot to do. And little time to do it. So Low, I did mention I wanted you fertilizing as much as we can. Avoiding as much inbreeding as possible. And then picking the best eggs for gestation, because we'll have two empty pods. So if I launch the jelly as it is now, it's a plus 43, so I'm going to wait for more jelly to be loaded up. And here we go. I'm going to analyze all the eggs once they're done uh, being fertilized, rather than do it like as we fertilize them, because that just takes too long. We'll just pick our favorites once it's done. So this is all pigskin hybrids with uh, with whatever eggs they're coming from. I'm not even checking. I'm just checking for uh, incest. Which would only be husk's egg, because Lowe is a husk hybrid. Lowe's parents are husk and cactus. So then husks uh, I'll fertilize with Chimic, as Chimic is a um, is a dirt mole hybrid. Well, I'd rather have Guero do it. Never mind. Sorry, Chimic. So let's pop Guero out and have Guero uh, fertilize that last one. Leaving sperm samples uh, for later. Okay, all 17 eggs have been fertilized. And then I'll have Brizet. You're looking particularly happy. I'm gonna have Brizet uh, run the caravan for the good eggs. Once he's up there, it's a big facility we have now. <laughs> there we go. So let's take a look. Here's the overlay for the genes we want and we don't want. Uh, this is. Technically could be a colonist, because it has strong stomach, and none of the bad pigskin... Although, Low wouldn't be able to pass down bad pigskin genes anyway, so that's moot. Not... It's just a, just datable, but, like, no thanks. Uh, here's another one that's uh, kind of a no thanks. Uh, this one is not even keepable, because it has pig nose, pig voice. Um, we've got... An Edekin pigskin hybrid, which is which sucks. 
Uh, this one lost all the good pigskin jeans. Uh oh, but this one was the one that, uh... No, no, this is a low hybrid. Yeah. Too bad. Uh, a terrible impid hybrid. This one's interesting. Oh, man. Uh, so it has Gaunt Head, which we wanted to avoid. But it is a... It is a waster pigskin hybrid that picked up super immunity. Unfortunately, the super immunity is not, uh, expressed. It's strong immunity that is expressed. Uh, but it also kept strong stomach and robust digestion. It's really too bad about that super immunity. I would have probably just did this despite the gaunt head and tried to filter out the gaunt head and treated it like a gene donor. Uh, but because super immunity got trumped by strong immunity, um, this is a no-go. It was close. It was very close to being a, a really good uh, pigskin um, waster hybrid because it picked up the gene we wanted from the wasters, which is super immunity, and it kept the pigskin genes. It was... I was... Oh, man. It's too bad. Um, yeah, this is slow wound healing, so that's, that's a no-go. This here... Oh, it has pig nose. Oh, why, man? This was about to be a um, a pigskin dirt mole uh, Neanderthal hybrid, but it picked up pig nose. And how? How did it even pick up pig nose? Lo doesn't even have pig nose to pass down. The hell? Wait, whose is this? Well, what egg was I on? This one. This is Tefluti. Oh, it must have inherited it from Tefluti then. Let me double check. Yeah, yeah. It inherited from Tefluti. Tefluti is an interesting egg because Tefluti is a is a mostly filtered pigskin. It uh no, no, that's not true. Tefluti also has trotter hands. So yeah. <clears throat> that's too bad. Uh next egg is an impid which lost some of its negatives, but unfortunately it kept the weak melee damage, so that's unfortunate. This egg is potentially um, uh, growable. It would have to become a gene donor, uh, but it does have the mini horns that we want from impids, and does have the strong stomach and robust digestion that we want from the pigskins, but uh, it has a weak melee damage, which is a must-not-have gene. But we can treat this as like a gene donor hybrid, perhaps. Unfortunately, it has the fire resistant, which is expensive, and the strong immunity, which we didn't want. So, it's not perfect, but it's okay. Uh, this one is like a Neanderthal pigskin hybrid, but it lost the ro uh, robust digestion, so it's kind of blah. Here we go. Oh no, it has pig voice. Damn you! It was close, because it's a, um, what is this? Pointer? What is Pointer? Pointer is also a pigskin. Oh, so it's a pigskin pigskin. I should have been a little bit more careful and not bothered to to, to cross that. Because a pigskin cross with a, a pigskin filtered cross with a pigskin is just going to be another pigskin. Potentially introducing additional pigskin genes that we don't want. Um, oh man, that's really too bad. This Rorift low egg, it was one gene away from being a really, really nice, um, a, a really nice pigskin dirt mole cross. It's just missing the strong stomach. Because from dirt moles, we want fast wound healing and dark vision. And from pigskins, we want robust digestion and, um, and strong stomach. And this would have been an excellent candidate because it also has intense UV sensitivity, which is a really good metabolic efficiency offset of plus four. Um, so close to being brilliant, but not quite there. Wow, this one sucks bad. Look, look at this, look at this impid cross. It has weak immunity, it has slow wound healing, cold weakness, and weak melee damage. Could you be any less useful? Uh, here's another one. Slow wound healing and cold weakness. Uh, cold weakness, weak melee, on yeah. And... This is a weak immunity. Weak immunity, strangely enough, is not a... Oh, no, it is a must-not-have gene. So, yeah, this is a big flopper. 
Unfortunately, this batch is really, really bad. Uh, in the interest of wanting to keep one of them... In the interest of wanting to keep one of them, let's pick one that I think is worth keeping. As a, like a, as a brawler grunt. Uh, this one could be a brawler grunt, but great animals is kind of a terrible gene to, to inherit because it's expensive and it's not something we want. This one was the impid. No, 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 no. It was. This one was no. Where is that impid cross? Was it this one? Yeah. So this one I think we'll keep, which is stickiest cross low. It has the weak melee damage, which is unfortunate, but it has a lot of positive genes that we wanted to keep. The reduced pain, strong stomach, robust digestion, mini horns. So that's four must-have genes with just one must-not-have gene, and it might be possible to filter out, filter out that must-not-have gene. Maybe. Pig voice. Um... I think I'm going to grow this one. The Rurift Low, actually. It lost the strong stomach, but maybe we can breed that back in. And this one has... Uh, th this one has three must-have genes, zero must-not-have genes. So it's a colonist that we can have as a colonist. The TLDR is basically, colonists must not have the must-not-have genes. And have at least one must-have gene. So this is, this is colonist material. This Rurift Low one. And the rest were awful. So, this Rurif flow, I will grow. So, uh, insert into growth vet. And then, I don't really even need a caravan, because we're not sticking any of the other ones. So there is that. And then we have one empty pod. So I'll pick, I'll pick another, uh, individual to grow. So this could be a battle grunt. Uh, let me hide these. This could be a battle grunt because it has a strong melee damage. This could be another battle grunt. Um, this has the intense UV sensitivity, which is a really good gene that I want to keep. This would, could be... Uh, melee grunt I think what I'll do is I'll grow this one because it has one gene that we do want or two genes because reduce pain and cold tolerance so three genes and then the intense UV and the nearsightedness so this I don't know it's an experiment more useful for the Wendigo project, even if it's not uh, a battle combatant. There we go. So the rest of these eggs, I'll, I'll just gift as, or something. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld, the first Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 19th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodomoth.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodomoth.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigos, 